After the financial crisis of 2008, people around the globe were looking to improve the way of governing financial transactions in an effort to eliminate centralized control over the process and prevent a similar crisis in the future. The goal was to create a system that was secure, provided decentralized governance, was transparent, and didn't require blind trust of any specific entity. They turned to distributed ledger technology, and more specifically, blockchain technology. It is a very complex technology, and in the beginning it was only for people that were really into the different aspects of the technology. And that kind of left out the potential for other people to see the benefits that this technology could have for lots of businesses. The growing popularity of the technology also brought an unprecedented amount of hacks and scams. A lot of people that invested in cryptocurrencies were confronted with financial loss because of it. Some of it was due to underperforming security protocols of both networks and exchanges, while others were the result of the gullibility and eagerness of people looking for a quick profit. The blockchain industry went through a period of transition in around 2016, 2017, when it went from the point of very few people knowing about it to suddenly people realizing that, hey, there's money here. And a lot of people started coming into the industry. A lot of projects were set up strictly to make money and really had no intention of long-term future. A lot of people got caught up in that. Not realizing that it was time for them to get out of that company, they would end up losing money because the first movers would go out and the price would go down. And then, of course, they're sitting there at a loss. They also saw a big spike at the start of 2018, known as the bull run. Almost all the projects went up very, very high, along with Bitcoin at the time, and then very quickly started going back down again. And it was like industry-wide, and many, many people suffered a lot. It's a matter of not really realizing what you're getting into. I would have to say just about everybody was affected by that. The euphoria makes you think, yeah, it's gonna keep going up forever. And it just didn't do that. From that point, it's gone through another transition to the point now where we're seeing that only serious projects are the ones who are starting to make any waves in the industry at this point. The increased success of the technology soon showed the technical shortcomings required to achieve mass adoption. On top of that, the space was faced with additional challenges by people with bad intentions looking to exploit these technical issues, but also to exploit people with limited knowledge that came into the space, hoping to get some financial profit out of it and were scammed by people with bad intentions because they didn't know what they were getting into. The days of duplicating what Bitcoin did or trying to duplicate what Bitcoin did are pretty much gone. People are looking for what's new. What is your project about? What are you doing to advance the technology? And that's where we come in. We've been working on this for about three years now, and we're slowly bringing out this technology that is absolutely different than anything else that's out there. While most blockchain networks are focusing on monetary transactions, ExtraBytes is opening up its network to a large array of data transactions, including monetary. This allows for a wide range of decentralized services, which creates earning possibilities for anyone interested in providing the necessary assets required for these services. ExtraBytes is ready to tackle these issues. We've developed a unique set of protocols that sets us apart from the other players in the blockchain industry, the blockchain space, especially our decentralized data validation system, which is in stark contrast to traditional blockchain networks where it's a centralized data validation. Just imagine in a network where you have a lot of people and they all have to carry the same bucket of water from point A to point B. All these people need to spend the same amount of energy. In our network, People are working together to get one bucket of water from point A to point B, and it requires a lot less energy to achieve the same goal. One of the key things that need to happen in the future is that there has to be a system in place, an educational platform that's coming together in order to help people understand and learn and have greater knowledge. Because with this comes trust. If we're showing them how to do things, if we're showing them about our project, about all the other projects, and we're teaching them the pitfalls, for example, and the good things that they should look for and what it is that ExtraBytes itself does in order to be different and how our technology works in a different way. To teach people that and to help them understand it and to realize that this is very different, this is a cool technology, that is where the trust comes from and that's what we're moving towards now.
The Extra Bytes Academy will offer a progressive set of courses, including retention challenges and certifications. These courses will range from general blockchain and cryptocurrency to the pitfalls of being involved as an investor, and of course, to learning about the Extra Bytes technology as it is today, as well as the advancements we will make moving forward. The Extra Bytes system is actually a full ecosystem, and we have a lot of different ways that people can participate. The user is very much a part of the entire ecosystem itself, and this can happen in many ways. We have people who are offering applications for others to use, the static nodes themselves, the service providers. In normal blockchain technology, the entire network, the whole structure is all more or less on the same level. They're all equal to each other. In the Extra Byte system, it's completely different than that. We have different levels of people, different levels of providers, all doing different things. They all play a different role all throughout the entire system, culminating at the end to having the end result that we want, which is the data integrity protection, and the storage wherever it needs to be, and this kind of thing. So it's a very, very different system. My hopes for this space is that the technology will be seen for what it is. It's an improvement of what we have today. It's a new way of handling data, and it's also a way to give the ownership of data back to the people and the companies. To learn more, visit us at gold.extrabytes.global.